everybody. I'm LEGO Separated and I'm here to provide inspiration on what to build with LEGO Bricks. So today we're going to be looking at a set. Set number 60078 from LEGO City and it was released in 2015. So without further ado, let's get started. So this set comes with two astronauts and let's have a look at the first one over here. So white all over this astronaut over here. We've got this really big hunky helmet with a golden removable visor and loads of chunky white uh, breathing equipment. So we can take this helmet off here to have a look at the face, which is a generic sort of face, nothing too interesting there. Uh, we've got, I believe you could call it some metal paneling going across the torso over here. These spacesuits need to be nice and protected when they go out into space. We've got the Space Explorers logo here on the front. These sleeves are white with some grey gloves. The legs are white as well. And if we turn around over here, we can see a much bigger spaceship logo. The second astronaut is almost identical, apart from the fact that this has a different face underneath. So, same all round with the uh, apparatus uh, for breathing support, and wide legs and grey gloves. Just if we take this helmet off, we get to see a generic female face instead to accompany our first astronaut. So let's head on over to the spaceship that we get in this set. This is the main part of the set. A decently sized shuttle. Now let's just have a quick overview on the outside. So we've got white all over with some black uh, for the for the nose and the wings over here. And we've also got some red stripes going along the side over here. Now the, these wings stretch out 21 centimeters across here and the spaceship is 18 centimeters long as well from nose to rear. So at the front of the shuttle over here we've got this large uh, piece, prefabricated uh, piece in white. We've got a black print on the front over here for the nose over here and on the sides of it we have these special stickers, uh, the the spaceship space explorers logo over here and we've got some black and red stripes on that sticker as well up to this point we have it on the big panel piece over here and the rest over here is made out of the bricks so very nice flow of the striping there also got a black tinted windscreen for the space explorers or astronauts to look through and this front section of the cockpit opens up nice and easily we've got a few extra bricks and some rounded pieces as well to make this cockpit a little bit longer and inside the cockpit we have space for two astronauts over here one over here and the co-pilot to sit over here now the front control panel consists of a printed uh, roof tile over here with loads of controls over here. We've also got a printed tile over here with some more buttons and stuff. And we have these uh, two levers as well which can be uh, hinged about in different directions. And the co-pilot as well has some work to do as we've got two printed tiles, same as these ones over here with more buttons to help assist flight. And now we move on to the center part of the spaceship. So let's put the cockpit on back like this. Now the this middle section is made out of two rounded pieces that hinge outwards on these clips and bars like this. Just open up like here. And on the inside, a little bit difficult to see, but on the inside we have some extra uh, tiles over here the same as the ones used in the front of the cockpit some more buttons in gener general style we've got some bricks uh, brickwork here at the back you know what let's just take this cockpit off like this okay so we've got some extra brickwork going on here and we've got this side attachment plate over here which holds up these uh, these rounded pieces when they're closed up like this and this section is used to store the satellite which we also get in this set. We'll have a look at this uh, closer later on. But this just simply fits in between these brick uh, 
uh, work over here and you can close it up nicely and ready to transport it out into space. At the back of this shuttle, we've got these two tail fins over here, hinged on these hinged plates over here in blue. And these fins are identical. They have stickers on them on both sides with the, with the, what do you call it, the Space Exploring logo. And at the very back, we have three thrusters over here, some black sort of cone adapters, if you'd like to call them, all facing one way. So these will boost you forwards. And I think it's time for the fact of the day now. So, Johnny, bring us the fact of the day. So the fact of the day is space shuttles like these travel at almost 18,000 miles per hour when in orbit that's 20 times faster than a passenger jet. So, <laughs> they, they're going at an astronomical speed, right? And uh, let's just have a quick look at the wings before we leave the shuttle behind. So we've got, obviously, the red striping going over here on the side with the clips also being red over there for these uh, rounded panel pieces. And we've also got some triangular wedge pieces in red also finishing off the red stripe over here. Now these, this, we've got, okay. Now we've got an interesting design for the wings over here. So we've got these small triangular wedge pieces over here, moving on to bigger triangular wedge pieces over here, and some slightly smaller triangular wedge pieces over here for the tips of these wings. And these have got clips and handles on them so they can uh, rotate like this so you can adjust your steering control as well. Nice black and white all over this. And over here we have the, these stickers, these special stickers on these white tiles over here. Same on the other side, just flipped. And I suppose you could say they're like decoration. And I suppose you could uh, Assume these could be, I, I suppose, uh, inlet ports. So, for instance, like docking up with uh, fuel and water and air inside there. And if we just have a quick look underneath the space shuttle over here, we've got these uh, special sort of almost boat-like pieces to help uh, smooth things off a little bit, to make it a little bit more aerodynamic and plane-like as well. And we've got these inverted roof tiles going up here as well and these base plate sort of frame pieces to keep everything nice and strong there and let's have a look at the satellite over here so normally this satellite is folded up when it's being carried inside the shuttle but these open out these solar panels open out like this very nice and wonderful that is a little satellite like this. Very, very nice to get in this set. Uh, we've also got some almost transparent stickers going across these uh, clip tiles over here just to give it a little bit more solar panel effect and we've got a golden sort of bo cone element sort of rounded cone element on the top over here with a little blue light and at the back over here we have a round jumper plate to be our thruster just to align the satellite into space and we also get this chunky black spanner for the spacemen to use while they you doing their maintenance job so let's just go over how everything fits inside this so first let's do the fill up procedure for the satellite so we just open up these bay doors over here and we'll get our satellite and we'll just shove it in there so it's pretty easy to get out once you're in space just let it float out like that but let's put it in like so we'll just close up these doors over here and we can remove the front of the shuttle and we'll get our space men sort of astronauts space women very nice that they've added both genders for this space exploration so let's just put them in there like this. There's plenty of space to, for you to put them in with their breathing apparatus since these are not proper chairs so that you can even lean them back a little bit when they're going up into space. Let's stick this back on. But that's the end of our video so I hope to show you more in the future. I hope this inspired you and until next time happy building!